Thank you very much for joining us um, at Digital Aviation Forum this year. And um, it's uh, been some time Buckle Collins um, has not supported us, but this year um, we have your support um, by your company. And um, thank you very much for your very valuable uh, presentation. Can you um, just highlight um, three or four key um, thoughts that are very important for airlines you know, to keep in mind? Well, I think the, it's really important this year, particularly 2018, because aircraft are now starting to be delivered with far more capability than ever before. And that's, that's going to be the, 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 the catalyst for airlines then to digitize their whole airline. So the first point I think airlines need to understand is the type of aircraft they're ordering, they're buying, they're bringing into the fleet, they're upgrading their current aircraft for newer aircraft or they're expanding their airline. Understand the capability of those aircraft. Let's understand the, the, what they're bringing into the fleet and the, and the capability of those aircraft. And then the important thing is, the second part of this is to understand which part of that capability that these new aircraft are bringing in, the airlines can benefit from. Because it's no good bringing new technology in if you're not going to see some cost-benefit case, some, some, some efficiency, some safety, or some cost savings. They're the three areas that airlines need to see that technology is helping them with in those areas. So we're going to help the airlines embrace this new technology and then customize it to their specific operation. And each airline that we're meeting today at this conference across Russia will have a different operating model, be it a low-cost operator, high value operator, short haul, long haul international routes, depending upon, or freighter, passenger, you know, depending on their operation, depends upon the sort of solution that we, we can provide, or we're providing. So the important messages to come out of the presentation are understand the investment you're making, because that's the most expensive investment you'll make as an airline, the aircraft itself. Let's understand them together, understand how those new aircraft are going to work alongside the legacy aircraft in your fleet, and then what sort of services we can provide to bring that value into the airline. And if we can make that business case really clear, then the airlines will, can, can embrace digital technology going forward, the digital air, airline, the digital aircraft, the digital pilot, you know, bringing all of that across the airline, which is what this conference is about. And I think that's the message I wanted to try and convey in the presentation the most. Okay, that's very nice and very important for the airlines. And um, um, how do you actually see the uh, perspectives on the Russian aviation markets uh, regarding the, um, um, you know, we, we all know that um, um, there are lots of plans of, um, um, on fleet development, on fleet expansion, but uh, not um, most of the airlines are planning to buy new uh, aircraft. Uh, some of them are planning to expand their fleet by um, adding some used airplanes. So uh, how will uh, this digital solution um, help th those airlines uh, to benefit? Well, again, it's a case of understanding how the technology is going to help that particular airline. Yeah. The analogy I use in the presentation that I do use a lot when I'm talking to airlines, is just think of it like your smartphone. Every one of us in the, in the conference is using some form of smartphone and we have it in our pocket. But I can guarantee you every single one of us will have a different mix of applications on that smartphone. That's because you use the applications which are specific to your social, personal and business lives. The airline is no different. It has the capability and the technology across its, its, its existing fleet or its new aircraft but the applications they're going to use are specific to that airline. So the value of the applications need to be understood for the airline. And the only the airlines can make that decision, just like you make the decision which applications you put onto your smartphone, it's the same analogy with the airlines, how they use the, the connectivity and the digitalization to ensure the applications being supported are right for that particular airline. So that's, and in Russia, it's no different to anywhere else in the world. It's understanding the applications that are right for their model. Uh, cost is a big issue today. We've all got to try and reduce cost. We've got to, you know, that's a big issue. Uh, the, the operating costs of, of aircraft are huge. We, we've got to try and help there, help there uh, you know, as much as we can. Uh, so operating the aircraft more efficiently, more effectively, is, 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 could be a part of this. 
um, safety of course, meeting mandates such as the aircraft tracking mandate. The Russian authorities have accepted the ICAO recommendations for aircraft tracking. So by November this year, 2018, you know, all the airlines in Russia are going to have to comply to that mandate. So the airlines have got to ensure that they can follow the 15 minute flight tracking rule, which is part of the recommendation. And that's tightening up over the next three years, 2021, it will be an even tighter aircraft tracking mandate. So the Russian airlines are all having to comply. And that's exactly how this technology is being uh, applied across the airlines, looking at the mandates and all of these things. So um, do you think the um, Russian market is really ready uh, for implementing these technologies? Yes, as ready as anybody else. Um, there are airlines who have a really good handle and understanding of what they need to do, and that's fine, that's, that's good. There's some airlines that are still looking to what they need to do and, and looking at um, what they can do in the short term as well and, and, and how they can get around some of these issues. And I think, like anything, you know, we're providing as a company, we're, we're out there to sort of work with all of the airlines at whatever level they're at. And again, the airlines I've met during your conference are no different. They're all asking really good questions uh, at, the, at the particular level that they're at in, in this process. Well, that's very nice that you are having a good feedback um, on the subject that you mentioned. And um, can you actually um, share with us your um, uh, general impression on the forum, on the agenda, on the audience? Um, which speakers have you found um, most impressive? Uh, which subjects are most intensive? And uh, what about the audience who you met? <laughs> they very varied, which is what it's all about. Um, we, we had good interactions. So again, a really important thing. A vendor like ourselves, it's not just that we're coming here to present, we're here to listen. And the more I can talk to airlines, the more I can hear what their thoughts are, then the better uh, relationship and interaction that we have. So, that, so this forum has been an excellent uh, for that. We've had good interaction with the, with the airlines and with the, the people that you've invited, the delegates at the, at the conference. So that's the best way to judge a conference. It's not just the way we present, but it's, it's how we, we listen and the sort of interaction that we have with the various people. And it's been really good from that perspective. Well, thanks a lot. It's just we have to wish you every success.